Hello everyone, this is Lucian for Out of This Binary and this week I am a gender pirate and I will be talking about being a non-binary parent. Well, I don't really have any children of my own other than Ryan, my dog, so I'm gonna be talking about uh, being the parent of a dog and also about the things I consider when I think about having children of my own, human children of my own someday. So yeah. Well, first I think that parenting can be one of the most gendered experiences in life. Um, it really depends on the culture you live, like the place you live and the, the society and everything. Uh, because Parenting uh, revolves very much around the figure of the mom and the dad, and it can be more or less uh, attached to the gender, depending on where you live. For example, here in Brazil, uh, we are a very, very sexist country, so uh, the role of the mom and the dad are really different things, like uh, they have very different responsibilities responsibilities, like uh, socially, uh, most of the responsibilities of having a child are moms, and dad is pretty much uh, uh, playing with the child some days, and paying for stuff, and uh, giving limits to the children, and but most of the time uh, it's really about the mom uh, bathing the children, washing clothes, cooking food, and yeah, educating and loving and playing and doing everything while the dad just does a little bit of stuff and stays on the couch watching football. I mean, it's really not what happens in all families. But it is like this stereotype, but it's a really present stereotype in people's lives in a more or less intense way. I mean, it's not like a, a stereotype that we are really over. It is something that uh, happens in people's lives in a very, very material way. Um, but this is like Brazilian culture, so we have a very gendered structure of what is a mom and what is a dad. Uh, and you can you can see it's very sexist because it has a lot to do with the social expectations put on women and men. Um, but I have been to other countries, for example Germany, and things are so different there. Um, like in Germany, uh, most of the parents I have seen uh, they have a very very equal division of stuff. Uh, of activities and responsibilities, uh, either when we, when they have and when they don't have children. Like, uh, it is very common in Germany, as far as I've seen, for men to cook and to clean the house and to do everything the woman does. Because the woman also works, and the man works, and they really share the responsibilities of the home. And when there is a child, they share the responsibilities of the child. Like, uh, German fathers are much, much closer and much more loving to their children than Brazilian uh, fathers. German, uh, did I say German parents? Uh, I mean, the guy, the, the father. Um, and, yeah, so uh, it really depends on the culture. Uh, in more equal con countries, Parenting is a more equal experience, and in countries like Brazil, it sucks. Ha. Huh? Well, uh, also, uh, what I was gonna say, yeah, for me, parenting, uh, it's really not about gender. It's more more about roles in a relationship, uh, especially because not all families are like the heterosexual monogamic family, like the man, the woman, and the children. Uh, there are many, many settings of family. Uh, I mean, the person who is your mom is not always 
that woman who gave birth to you or the woman who adopted you uh, it's uh, the mom is much more like uh, it, it has to do with a role with uh, the person who raises the child the person who loves the child the person who educates the child and your mom sometimes can be your sister can be your grandma can be uh, a completely random person who raised you can be your nanny can be your nanny can be much more of a mom than your real mom so for me uh, like those parenting roles are much more of uh, names of places in a relationship. If I, I hope that makes sense. And so uh, I think it's not only a non-binary issue, because uh, as a non-binary person, uh, fitting in like the mom or the dad place can be really awkward, because it's gendered like and you don't have a gender but I think that's something uh, we must question uh, even even though we are not non-binary like this roles uh, that moms and dads have uh, what it means to be a mom and what it means to be a dad um, and I think in the end of the day it's just a name for a thing and yeah okay okay it got really awkward but um, I mean let me take it back and hope it makes a little sense I mean I am Ryan's mom mom is technically a gendered uh, word for a female and uh, for me it doesn't have to do with gender I am a gender and but I, I am Ryan's mom and I don't have any problem to be Ryan's mom because it, for me it has to do with uh, a role of loving and educating and taking care of. For me that's what mom represents. And I could as well be Ryan's dad. It's, it's just a word. I mean we can, we can reclaim words, gendered words in a way and make them fit our lives as non-binary people because uh, I mean not all languages uh, offer possibilities to to name things out of the gender in English you have like the word parent that is gender neutral but in Portuguese and many other languages we don't have such word so we really have to uh, deal with the words we have and uh, and question the things they are supposed to mean like uh, mom doesn't have to be a word for a female person and dad doesn't have to be a word for a male person for example um, I think that's pretty much the point and um, what else oh yeah um, well Right now, I don't want to have any children um, because I'm too young for that. Yeah, uh, but if I ever have a child, I don't want to raise them in, here in Brazil because it's really sexist, it's really transphobic, it's really gendered, and I don't know. I don't agree with the way parents raise their children's children. Sorry, and. I wouldn't want to raise a child in here. It wouldn't be healthy either for the child and for me. Um, well, another thing, I would never, never, ever get pregnant because, although, of course, I cannot know how it feels, but uh, I imagine it like being a nine month long period. So, if like having a five day period once a month is really awkward to me I just wouldn't stand I, it would probably make me so dysphoric and it wouldn't be r good at all for my mental health so I if I ever have a child I'm gonna adopt because 
Well, there are many children who need love, and they are already out there, and we can meet each other and make things work. And yeah. Uh, okay, I think I had more things to say, but I forgot, and here we have another long video. Uh, so I'm just gonna go, and I hope it makes a little sense because I don't I don't know if it does. But, yeah, that's me, I'm awkward, yay! So, I hope you have enjoyed this video, I hope it helps something, thinking about some things in life, and, well, if you like it, thumbs up, yeah, and feel free to uh, share, no, not only share, share your experiences, if you are non-binary, if you have a child, if you plan having ch children, please write it down in comments, and yeah, be safe, take care, bye!